Right, I am here with Theo and and we are going to be showing you some hockey exercises for year five and six as that is what they'll be doing this term. Now I appreciate that not everyone has a hockey stick at home so we're going to give you a few examples of things that you can use to practice your control with a ball with some equipment. So Theo and Cameron have got hockey sticks, you can also use something like a tennis racket, a rounders bat, uh, maybe even like a cricket bat or anything that you can find to use to sort of improvise being a hockey stick or a piece of equipment that you can strike with, okay? Um, we're going to show you a couple of little exercises to practice at home to focus on control. Firstly, Theo and Cameron are going to show us how to hold the stick correctly. So your left hand is at the top and your right hand is two thirds of the way down and you bend your, from your knees to get lower to the ball. The first exercise we're going to do is dribbling a ball up around the cone and back down. Cameron and Theo will take it in turn. So Theo's going to start us off. One point I want us to focus on is how Theo keeps the ball nice and close to him, <coughs> trying to maintain control at all times. Off Cameron goes. Same again with the ball nice and close to you. We go once more each. Good. And last one for Cameron. Well done boys. Now what they're going to do is they're going to put the hockey sticks down and they're going to pick up either the tennis racket or the rounders bat and they're going to show us exactly the same but just with a different piece of equipment, okay? Yeah, so Theo will start us off. It's the same principle. Ball nice and close to you. On the floor. Off we go. We dribble it up. Around. And back down. And off camera goes. It's going to be slightly different with a rounders bat, really challenging his control there. Ooh. Good, and back down. So if you keep going, Theo. So as I've mentioned, our points would be holding the stick correctly, as Theo and Cameron showed us at the start, keeping the ball nice and close to you, and bending your knees to try and maintain control at all times. If you can give that a go, see how many times you can do it in a minute, Perhaps film it, chat with your parents or carers that they're happy for you to do so. And if you can post it to your teachers on Seesaw, that would be fantastic. Give it a go, guys. Well done. Okay, so I'm again with Theo and Cameron, and they're going to show us another variation of a hockey exercise for us to try at home. Again, still using hockey sticks, or you can use things like tennis rackets, rounders, bats, as we've just said. Um, also, if you don't have access to something like a tennis ball, you could try it with a football, a uh, rolled up pair of socks. And for things like the cones that we have out, you could use a book, shoes, anything that you've got at home to give yourself some equipment, okay? So this time, instead of just going backwards and forwards, we're now gonna add a little bit of a direction change. So Theo and Cameron are gonna go in and out of the cones and back down. Still the same focus as last time, holding the stick correctly, bending from our knees and keeping the ball nice and close to us, focusing on maintaining control the whole time. So Theo's gonna start, off you go Theo. Nice and controlled, and back around. Well done. And off Cameron goes. Good, keeping it nice and close to us. Remember, we're focusing on having control over the ball the whole time. Uh, once more, boys, once more. Nice, Theo. Good, back round. Nice, and stop there. So. Again, a bit different. They're now going to pick up the rounders bat or the tennis racket. Off we go, guys. Exactly the same. So in and out of the cones. Keep the ball nice and close to you. Keeping control. Off we go, Theo. Nice. This one's really challenging Theo's control. But he's doing really well, keeping it close to him. Small taps with the rounders back. Good, off you go, Cameron. Nice and close. Back through. Right, well done. And stop there, guys. So, another one for you to practice at home. Ways that you can challenge it is obviously using smaller bits of equipment. Can you move slightly faster? But please maintain again, keeping it close to us, trying to have control over the ball at all times. Again, if you can send in videos via Seesaw, check with your parents or carers that are happy for you to do this. Set yourself some challenge. How many times can you go up and down 
in a minute without losing control. Give it a go guys and we look forward to see what you can do.